I had this idea that programming was meant to be flawless. You, you idiot! It was meant to be written once. I mean, all the tutorials wrote everything in one go. All the movies showed programmers typing non-stop. I took a traditional learning approach to programming. I read five huge books on Java, and I learned absolutely nothing. If you're like me, your approach to programming is wrong. Programming is a craft. You have to have a skill-based mindset. Think back to drawing as a child. You didn't have artistic theory. You didn't need to know what color schemes and profiles are. You just drew whatever you wanted. But think of your friends that got good at drawing as they got older. They probably practiced in their spare time. They produced a ton of crappy volume. And programming is just like art or playing an instrument. It takes time. Time spent programming awful solutions is not time wasted. You don't have to load up on theory, finding the best resources, looking for all of this stuff, the best, most optimal way to learn, because the best way to do it is just by opening up your editor and building something. Everything that you want to achieve with programming can be done with a few functions and data structures, but it's only after you've built enough stuff the wrong way, with brute force solutions, with awful unreadable code, that you'll understand why you need things like design patterns, classes, readability, maintainability, scalability, why you need to program a certain way. Okay, so enough philosophy. How do I practically apply this? The first thing that you have to do is just produce a ton of volume. It's only after you've produced a ton of garbage code that you can look back and say, hey, maybe I should redo this. And that is a fantastic approach. Which brings me to my second point. Reflect on your volume. Practice doesn't make perfect. What did you say? Practice makes permanent. If you keep practicing your bad programming habits, you'll embed them into your workflow. So every time you write something, you finish a project, you write down a solution, continuously reflect on it. And this brings me to my final point. You should always read others' code. Do a common project, and after you've done it, go and read how other people have solved it and try to do that project again. So for example, when I tried to build rock, paper, scissors in JS for the first time, I wrote like 20 if-else statements. But it was after I finished off that project, and then I looked at someone else's source code, I realized there's a much more optimal way to solve the problem. And I only learned that because I produced a ton of volume. I stopped, and I reflected on that volume. There's a philosophy called Kaizen, and it's based on this idea that you should always be improving yourself. And it's one of the ideas that I started carrying on very early into my career, that any facet of my work, I want to improve. Anything I do related to programming, I always want to take a break, look back, and think, hey, how can I improve this? Thank you for your time, I'm Big Boxed.